Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS and welcome back to the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies Top 5. Today we're going to be counting down the top 5 ways to kill the Panzer on Horizon Drac. Now there are some ones that you guys may not have heard so if you didn't hear of some of these or you didn't even know about it make sure you guys comment that down below and let me know which top 5 you guys want me to cover next week. Without further ado guys, let's get right into it. So coming in at the number 5 spot, we have the Brecky slash Haymaker. Now yes, they're both guns and this is the only one that actually has a gun in it but they are both very very effective the brekkie is a semi-automatic shotgun that basically you have to have a quick trigger finger to use if you keep shooting the panzer in the face its mass will eventually fall off and then you can just shoot it in the bare face and then it will die it usually goes down in about a clip of a pack a punch brekkie and also the haymaker the haymaker is a fully automatic shotgun and if you guys unload a full clip the panzer will die 100 percent if it's pack a punch the both shotguns are super effective and it's really really good to have down in the boss round when you guys are fighting all the different panzers that come your way depending on how many players you have there can be up to like 30 panzers that spawn which is crazy and you need to be really really effective with them Coming in at the number 4 spot guys, we have the death ray. Now the death ray is honestly one of the best ways to kill the panzer and it's also the easiest. Usually on round 12 when the panzer first spawns, I run up to the death ray and then all I have to do is when the panzer is on the pad where the death ray actually electrocutes, then you just turn it on for a thousand points and boom, the panzer goes floating up in the air by the electrical charge and then you basically have free range to shoot your bow and arrow right at the panzer's face. And eventually he will die it usually goes pretty quick but just make sure that you kill the panzer before the death ray time limit runs out and coming in at the number three spot is one of the most effective and underrated mega gobble gums and that is pop shocks pop shocks is so so good if you guys didn't know back in shadows of evil if you had pop shocks on and you knifed a margua it would die instantly and it's exactly the same with the panzers now the great thing about pop shocks is you can do it more than once it actually allows you to knife five times and each time you'll send her an electrical charge through whatever you're knifing if you're knifing a zombie it could kill multiple but i recommend using it for panzers it's especially great for the boss round when a bunch of panzers spawn and you're able to literally knife them and literally get through an entire round just from using pop shocks basically instantly Coming in at the number 2 spot is one of the best easter eggs on Horizon Jack and that is using the Panzer Claw. There's 3 Panzer Claws around the map and they're up on a roof or in a tunnel and all you have to do is shoot at it, it's going to drop down onto a box and then when the Panzer is in the direct line of sight of the Panzer Claw, you shoot the Panzer Claw in the back and it launches towards the Panzer. It kills them instantly and if you do all 3, you actually get a Panzer Claw helmet to wear which actually gives you more protection against future panzers that you're going to fight in that game. And coming in at the number one spot is probably one that you might have done just by mistake and that's how it happened to me. If you guys didn't know, when you do the easter egg you have to travel back in time to visit Dr. Groff. Now you're going to use the teleporter that is down in the pyramid room in order to teleport and when you spawn back in you're going to go to the other teleporter right by the rocket. Now if you guys are lucky enough the rocket will be taking off right when the panzer spawns because there's always a panzer that spawns when you come back from from the past and if you're lucky enough the doors will close and the panzer will get stuck there down at the rocket station as long as you're still inside at the rocket now basically the rocket and fire ends up killing the panzer and then all you have to do is right after you're done you just go outside you can grab the piece from the panzer and also the power up and you literally don't have to fight him at all I think that's the best way and the most effective way because you literally have to do nothing so anyways guys thank you for watching this week's call of duty zombies top 5 like i said in the beginning if you guys have any requests make sure you comment them down below and if you guys enjoyed this video please drop a like and subscribe to my channel my name is greg fps and i'll see you guys with another zombies video tomorrow peace guys